Hi, Billy. Congratulations, Mr. Duplessis. Very well done for these fantastic lessons. Uh, thank you. It's nice to be here. That's good. Now, let's start by looking at this specific lesson. You planned a lesson in analytic geometry. Wh how would you introduce this topic to learners? You see, the main uh, important thing for the learner is to make sure that he know exactly what is the coordinates. The coordinates. The coordinates, right. how it is written down. Yes. First the X, then the Y. Right. And that uh, order is very uh, important because you can't mix up the X and the Y. Right. Otherwise your answer will be, will be wrong. Right. On this board I've got a variable switch that show the lights of the LEDs. Right. Let us take that first LED there. You see that yellow one? Yes. Uh, now the first thing is to give the coordinate of that point. Right. Now first you will always use X. I tell my learners that I use X before Y because right. X is before Y in the alphabetical order. Order as well, yes. And so first you look at the X axis. Right. On the X axis is minus 4 and the Y value according to that point yes. is 3. Right. So that coordinate will be minus 4, 3. Right. Now the teachers can make use of this type of thing to uh, ask any pe people in the class. In the class, yes. Uh, s let us see what is that one. Can you give me the coordinate of that one? We have moved three steps on the x axis, so That's that correct. will be three, and we've moved five steps on the y axis, so that should be three, comma, five. That's correct. Yes. Okay, so we can test all those other coordinates as coordinates. well. Coordinates. Now let us go to that one. You see that red one yes the three one yes and the next one minus four one what is the difference between those two points okay if i was a learner well one both the x and the y are in the positive the other one both the the other one the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive i think that those would, that's that would be the difference yeah. they've got the same the same y coordinate, y coordinate yes. but different in the x, x coordinates. coordinates. Yes. Now, before you go any further, Billy, I would like you to explain to teachers how someone can make this. This you make use of a uh, pegboard right. that you can buy at any hardware shop. Right. Uh, I've made use of a division there for four. Yes. The teachers can make their own divisions. Yeah, they can make your own division, but I make a division of four so that I've got stick to that. You normally draw a graph between five and minus five. That's right. an important part of the graph. Right. And the values is the divided into four, right. four quarters, if you will make some difficult, yes. more difficult fractions on, on the board. But f the, the, the most important thing is to get the, 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 the values for X and Y the y. same. What did you teach in this fantastic lesson? I do a brief revision of the coordinates. Yes. to see if they know the coordinates, if they see what is the lines equation. Say right. for that one, where the X values equals to 3, right. if they can give me the equation for that. It's right. a simple line, yes. but most of the learners don't know what is the equation for That's that. That's right. An important point because for us. Because there's no gradient. Now when we, we go further with uh, uh, s the straight line, we can choose any two points and we give them a, a graph paper like this one. And we ask them to show us the points with s little pegs like this. Right. And I ask a learner to put this pick, another learner to put this pick on the board. Okay. Well Say, for instance, we make use of the point 2, 1. 2, 1 would be that. Yes. That's correct. And uh, let, for instance, make use of another point minus 3, minus 1. Minus okay. 3, minus 1. Minus 3, minus 3 is there. Minus 1 is there. Let me move back. So minus 3, minus 1 would be this point here. Now we can ask the learners to draw that 
line between, say, for instance, A and B themselves right. on their own graph. So now they have to do it practically on their own graph paper. Actually draw that line. That straight line. That straight line. Okay. Yeah. Then your next question would be what? Now we can start with the first uh, uh, part of the analy analytical geometry, geometry yes. for the grade 12 learners to actually calculate the distance between A and B okay. for the length of AB. We have first of all reviewed their understanding of the Cartesian system by them giving us the various coordinates to make sure that they still remember that. That's one point. That's right. The next thing we have looked at whether they are able to identify simple equations of the coordinates. The next thing would give them various points for them to take note of and probably join them. That's correct. The final point therefore would be now we are trying to move into the nitty gritties now of analytic geometry, them finding the distance between the two points. Yeah. Okay. So therefore to find the distance between these two, it's x1 minus y1 squared plus y y2 x2 minus y2 squared. Our distance formula therefore would be d equal to, yes, x squared, right, uh, x2, x2 minus x1 squared, bracket squared, yes, plus, plus y2 minus y1 brackets squared. squared. Okay. Now, do you provide this formula or are the learners supposed to know it? The learners get that in the uh, exam. Okay. Paper at a, as a formula sheet. Right. So it is among the formulas that are provided for. That's given, yes. And from practice, eventually, learners really don't refer to that formula sheet. They, they know some of these. They will know them after they may have the used them a, a quite a lot of while. Okay. So, so now we have given them a formula. What are some of the strategies that you adopt to make sure that the learners don't make mistakes here? Um, now it's possible for uh, me to ask one of the learners to let us actually measure the distance there because this board is for 10 centimeters equals to one unit right so we can measure the distance from there between these between the, the these two points right and is nearby if we see, say for instance that's one unit yes so there's one two, two three, three four, four five, five enter yes half unit that's right yes that's the length of that line according to the scale, scale of the draw here. Yes. In other words, what you are therefore saying is that it is not a question of just a theoretical aspect of it. You can actually practically find the, the, find the, the, find the distance between these two. Where do you move on to here now, after this? Now we have to substitute the values of the in the formula for uh, x2. Right. Now x2 will be the right hand side right x value and the x value there is two. two yes so if we go to the formula we put in the values there now we go further with the formula the five square give us 25. 25 yes the two square give us four right 5.3851 so okay. okay now we've said earlier that when we measure it what was the value it I think it was 5.5. .5. It gave us 5.5, thereabout. So it's nearby the same. 5.5, yes. 5.38 yes. Yes. Is, is rounding off to 5.4. Yes. So that is the correct value of the distance between the two, points, two points A and B. Right. Uh, but there's also other possibilities. You can, yes. s you can do a trigonometry with the values Th of, that's true. Yes. of um, the angles. Yes. Yes. Sine, cos, cosine, and tangent. And tangent. Yes. Yes, that's true. Ten, perpendicular lines. Right. Parallel lines. That's you true. can make two parallel lines. Yes. And they can actually measure the the angles between. Yes. The two corresponding angles, the uh, alternating angles. Angles. It's a fantastic value. I'm not surprised that it won one of the best engine lessons really it is it is a fantastic lesson and thank you very much we do appreciate it a great deal thank you good